iPhone XR and the phone has a water damage before so after I fixed the uh, no power it was like a shorted capacitor uh, I find out the the back camera doesn't work uh, the back camera doesn't work at all the yeah, front camera it works but the back camera doesn't work So this is what I did so far. I do have this uh, motherboard that I use it for parts. And I did read the diode mode on the connector. And I did what I did here. Then I, uh, I read the diode mode in this phone. And the pin number 7. the good uh, motherboard it was like uh, 0.5 the reading diode mode is a 0.5 but in a bed uh, in the phone that the camera doesn't work it was like 1.6 it's kind of high so let me show you what uh, the reading mode over there so that's the pen number seven and the uh, reading is one point something. So this is the the bad camera phone. And I'm gonna s so that's the pen number seven and we have here point five. Look here in the board view, we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This band here is go to the capacitor. So from that capacitor to the ground. And other, uh, let's go to this capacitor here. The other side of that capacitor is the ground. And it's go to this chip. So I'm going to change this chip and see if that's going to fix the problem. So this is the camera connector. This one here, the back camera connector and this is the chip. So I removed the chip, then I reball it and put it back and the camera start working. So I didn't have to change the chip, just I, uh, I reball it. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and see you next one. So the camera works now.